Have you ever gone swimming with stingrays? What about humu humu nuku nuku apua'as? Well, you're not gonna find them at your family's fish tank, but you will find them at Pacific Beach Hotel. Pacific Beach has a huge aquarium right in the middle of the hotel. Not only is it home to some of the world's most beautiful fish, but scuba divers get to play with their fishy friends every day. Still don't believe me? Well, check this out. Pacific Beach Hotel is located in the heart of Waikiki, and I'm so excited to check it out. Can you tell? Yeah! Whoa! Check out that 280,000 gallon aquarium. You know how they tell you to drink at least eight eight ounce glasses of water a day? Well, it would take you 560,000 days worth of water to fill this tank. Woo, that's a lot of water. Cool. There's my friend Rhonda swimming with her friends the stingrays. She's got the best job ever. Hi, I'm Rhonda Suka. I'm the curator at Pacific Beach Hotel Oceanarium. When I was little, I pretty much learned how to swim when I learned how to walk. So we had a swimming pool the whole time I was growing up. We always went to the rivers and the lakes, and I loved to paddle canoe and uh, go swimming. And then when I came to Hawaii, I loved snorkeling. There's so much to see underwater. It just was very exciting. I've been working at Pacific Beach Hotel for 13 years now. I started working here when I was going to college and I just loved it. My job here, when I come to work each day, the first thing that I have to do is check all the exhibits and make sure that everything is running and make sure all the animals are doing fine. Um, and then after that, we prepare the food for the animals. So we prepare a lot of food. It takes a couple hours to do that. It's a lot of fun. Oh, my favorite part about scuba diving is that when you go underwater, it's so quiet and peaceful. You don't have the weight of the world on you. And all the fish and animals float around, and it's just a different world. Becoming a scuba diver is really easy. It only takes maybe a weekend to get an open water certification. You can get scuba certified when you're 10 years old. Wait, did she just say what I think she just said? You can get scuba certified when you're 10 years old. Oh yeah, that's me. It's her birthday. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Back to you, Rhonda. I have two daughters, and I always tell them that they should pursue their dreams and whatever that may be. Of course, both of them want to be scuba divers because their mom is one. As long as they have a passion for it and they love things that are underwater and they're curious, they should just go for it. And it's really easy. Easy? Sweet! Let's go! Ooh, a wetsuit. Hi, Kaya. What are you doing? I'm getting ready to feed the fish. What are you going to feed them? Come on, let's go prepare some food. Mmm, okay, I like food. So this is our gel diet, and it has all kinds of vitamins and fish and seaweed, and we just cut it up, it's frozen, and then we take it into the water like that, and it dissolves in the water for the fish that have little mouths. And this is squid gel. It's kind of like squid burger. Mmm, <laughs> ground up squid for breakfast? You can try some if you like. No, thanks. Okay. <laughs> we prep all kinds of food for all the different fish that are in the oceanarium. And so we have shrimp and mussels, and these we feed to the stingrays. They eat the shell and everything, so we oh, don't wow. have to do anything with that. But the shrimp we have to peel. Have you peeled shrimp before? Yep. So you just take the outer skin off, because that part they don't like to eat. They like the soft insides. And then also remove the tail. What about the little legs? Yeah, the legs can come off too. Okay, good. Oh. We also feed all kinds of different um, fish to the carnivores. So that means that they like to eat fish. So these we can just chop up into little pieces. This is a squid and we remove the spine, which is like a little piece of plastic, and also the beak, which is a hard piece of its mouth. You think you can take care of that for me? Sure. You just squeeze the beak off and pull the spine out. Good job. Oh, it does look like plastic. Mm -hmm. So you ready to feed some fish? I think I'm ready. OK, let's go gear up. Let's go. OK. I hope the fish are hungry, because I just lost my appetite. Ugh. So let's get geared up to feed the fish. 
Awesome! Getting ready takes some time. I got my Pacific Beach rash guard, did a little wiggle dance to get into my wetsuit, suck it in, one arm after the other, perfect! Need my BCD to help control my buoyancy, and of course, I can't forget my goggles. Gotta protect my eyes underwater. Just say. Cool! I'm geared up and ready for some lunch. Not that lunch. This lunch. Ew. Like Rhonda said, you need to go through some training before you can scuba dive. And even though I'm old enough to start, I'm not quite there yet. I was still really excited to get my feet wet and to feed the fish. Well, here's the food you prepped earlier. You toss them into the water to see if they're hungry. Okay. So just over there? Mm-hmm. There's 500 fish in our tank. They probably need more than one piece. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. I couldn't believe how close the stingrays were to me. Look, they're swimming right underneath my flippers. Awesome! It was so cool to be right there. And I bet it's even cooler to be underwater swimming and playing with them. Their lunch was a little stinky, but they sure were enjoying it. And I definitely didn't mind playing fishy chef for the day. Wow, this is so amazing. I was having a lot of fun. But the job as a scuba diver at Pacific Beach Hotel is a lot of work. It was time for a break. All that hard work has made me hungry. I got the chicken tenders instead of the mahi-mahi, out of respect for my new fishy friends, of course. Scuba diving is a dream job, but you can't just show up with some goggles and some gear and get right into it. it takes a lot of hard training and a love for the ocean and everything in it. Is this what you want to be when you grow up? I'm Kea, see you next time.